For a quarter of a century, through Law & Order SVU, Hargate has shined a light on what sexual abuse looks like. Now, in an exclusive essay for People magazine, she's describing her own sexual trauma. A man raped me in my 30s, she begins. It wasn't sexual at all. It was dominance and control, overpowering control. As many survivors do, Hargate says she pushed it out of her mind. I couldn't process it. I couldn't believe that it happened, that it could happen. So I cut it out. I removed it from my narrative. She says of her experience, he was a friend, then he wasn't. I went into freeze mode, a common trauma response when there is no option to escape. I checked out of my body. But as the years went on, she says, she began talking about it in earnest with those closest to her. They were the first ones to call it what it was. They were gentle and kind and careful, but their naming it was important. Now I'm able to see clearly what was done to me. I understand the neurobiology of trauma. Trauma fractures our mind and our memory the way a mirror fractures. Hargate telling people that she and Olivia Benson, who's also experienced trauma throughout the show's run, are on a parallel journey. She's discussed her beloved character on Today. This is a character that our society needs, it's against all odds, is uh, focused and believes survivors. Hargate told me viewers regularly send her letters with their stories. To learn that these women who had been through this horrible trauma would have the courage to come forward and then to be ignored. She became an advocate for them, founding the Joyful Heart Foundation in 2004 and speaking out. Although we have seen progress, there is still much more work to be done. In her essay now, she writes, they're the ones who've been a source of strength for me. Her essay ends, the experience was horrible, but it doesn't come close to defining me. I'm turning 60 and I'm so deeply grateful for where I am and I'm still proudly in process. And it's so profound that it happened, we we're discussing 30 years ago, and mm -hmm. it's still a very, very painful thing to talk about. So what right. is she hoping? For anyone. Yeah, for anybody. So what's she hoping to do by writing about it? I think she just really, she says she really wants to normalize these difficult conversations. And she thought by telling her story that would help other people maybe tell their own stories. You know, she really wants to, she's told us in the past, she wants to reduce the, st the stigma, the shame that some people feel around sexual assault. Mm takes yeah. a lot of courage, but we know that she has that in yeah, spades. We've heard her here talk about that so many times, and it always did seem so deeply personal. I always, it always struck me when she was here, and now she's sort of explaining why. Yeah, yeah so, in right. a way. Kate, thank nice. you. Uh, by the way, that new uh, issue of People Magazine on newsstands nationwide tomorrow, and there's more on this story on people.com. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.